Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with my next Star Wars Rebels episode reviews. This is going to be for episode 10 and 11, which are Jedi Knight and Doom. So, yeah, obviously, I think one main big event in these two episodes to really, really get into, and that is the, I think, expected death um, of Kanan as a character here. And... I think overall it was well executed in that like the the specific scene was very very well done and that it wasn't this real kind of sudden death you sort of knew it was coming it was a big sacrifice moment they just saved Hera Hera and Kanan had just I suppose fully revealed how they feel about each other and I like how they kind of used it as this moment to kind of obviously take the character who kind of needed to be taken out of the picture but have his kind of sacrifice uh, obviously lead to a bigger plot point within the episode but also leave the team very much down a member for a bunch of different reasons um, Ezra obviously missing his master um, Hera feeling like she um, was too late I suppose revealing to Kanan how she felt and just in general missing one of her the people she's been closest to in her life with I su I think the big reveal in like the second episode being that she comes to the conclusion that Kanan deserves to be kind of remembered, uh, kind of as part of her family basically, and that's the way she'll choose to remember him. Um, but the specific scene again of him kind of holding back the blast and then pushing Hera onto the kind of escape craft as they uh, got her out of there, aware of what Kanan was doing was. I think a very very well executed scene and um, especially I think with just it being this really I think powerful demonstration of the force that you almost didn't expect from him uh, we know he's sort of become I think more powerful in a way since he's kind of been blind but this I think demonstrated just how powerful he is able to hold it back and also force her back onto the um, the ship and I like the moment where they kind of, in a way, gave Kanan his sight back right at the end and kind of showing you that kind of light side dynamic of uh, when you use your powers kind of for selfless reasons, kind of anything is possible in a way. But um, yeah, that that was well done. It, I think it was, it was a little sudden, <coughs> the um, events that I think directly led up to them being on top of like the, the fuel depot and... Governor Price just ordering the uh, the attack that was kind of like oh this is where they're doing it it's 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 not this like really kind of clear and obvious like okay here's the moment where they're going to kind of commit to the death of Kanan um but I think his death meant that the, both episodes were um very focused and on that obviously the first one was very much focused on getting Hera back and then afterwards we had the team dealing with the fact that they're they're down a member but that there is one benefit in that the Empire are now celebrating the fact that they've killed Kanan but they're more so hiding the fact that in killing Kanan they basically blew up all of their fuel and basically crippled their um their kind of factory production on planet Lothal and Price is kind of trying to play this as like a positive that she's taken out Kanan when in fact it's a net negative in that the um, <coughs> Thrawn's uh, TIE fighter program is basically scrapped now because of this and um, and so their previously I suppose on friendly terms relationship now is kind of up in the air so something bad might happen to Price coming up soon and we might see a different side of Thrawn coming forward and um, but yeah, the the mysterious, I suppose, side of these two episodes was more so Ezra, what they did with Ezra afterwards, and continuing with the whole Lothwolf thing, and the mystery around them, their connection to the Jedi Temple on Lothal, and just their connections to the Force full stop, and why they linked to Ezra. Um, I thought it was an... It was interesting, but I, I'm definitely at the point now where I kind of want to just learn what exactly the situation is. Um, I think it's gone on a little long just to kind of tease about this. Thankfully, I think they were a little clearer about it here with um, them kind of giving him the kind of tablet directly related to the 
Jedi Temple, and more or less making it clear that, okay, the Empire are doing something that relates to the Jedi Temple, and that's what you need to stop. That's the direction for Ezra going forward, is that he has to stop this, and that's going to be his uh, arc going forward, as the realization from the rest of the crew, like Zeb and and Sabine, I suppose, primarily, coming to terms with, like, oh no, they... The Empire have like really messed themselves up in how they took out Kanan, and um, that was I think well done. Um, and I think using I suppose the fight with Rook uh, as a way to get across that revenge from Zeb was interesting. It was an overall I think interesting enough fight. Maybe it took up a little bit too much time in the episode, but um, it was a you know pretty high quality fight as we saw a, a bunch of different tactics come into play and. I think Zeb eventually kind of calming down and not killing Rook was um, a good thing for the character. Uh, To get across, I think, as well, just sending him back pale painted up like that definitely got across that, like, the rebels aren't giving up, but that they're also not going to stoop to the Empire's level. So I think that worked on kind of two fronts. But um, um, I think that's most of, I think, what I want to really say about the episode. Um... It's perhaps not, I think, the death of Kanan I expected. Uh, again, I I do think the scene was well done, but perhaps the setup towards it was just a little, <laughs> a little sudden. But um, nothing too kind of crazy overall. Um, and other than that, I think it's just good setup for the rest of the episodes. Um, we got mention of Ahsoka again, uh, which was interesting. The temple, so they're obviously going to commit to doing something, I, I assume, fairly big with regards to <coughs> whatever they do with um, Ahsoka and how it links into however they're going to resolve Ezra's arc. Um, but we're, we're, we're just kind of waiting to see where they go from here. But at least, you know, the crew seems to have a plan now going forward. And there is some hope to get Lothal back after it seemed like the death of Kanan was this, like, destruction of the morale of the rebels on Lothal. So, um, I think two meaningful episodes, but I think they almost could have focused them a little bit more on um, Kanan's death and really made it more of a special event, whereas I do think maybe the excess focus on the fight with Rook um, and some of that stuff uh, maybe distracted a little bit too much from things. But at the same time, it, we did get some better moments like Hera still suffering from the interrogator droid and was some funny moments as she kind of uh, t- told Kanan like, that she doesn't like his new hair and so on. So um, I, I, I assume we'll get some kind of force-like thing from Kanan because obviously the wolf is kind of calling itself Doom uh, and that was Kanan's name. So I think there's some sort of reveal to come about like force sensitive people and animals that's still going to come out but yeah that's my thoughts on the episode and just some quick thoughts here Uh, and i'll cover the other episodes when they come out but uh, yeah that's been the video thanks for watching and bye